so let us solve a few numerical problems uh, related to the load frequency control uh, okay so the first problem this is the second lecture of uh, second video of lecture 19 okay so the first problem is something like that so uh, we are given a 100 MVA generator I uh, let me light on the question first 100 MVA generator synchronous generator okay operates at operates on full load full load at a frequency at a frequency of 50 hertz okay so now the load is suddenly reduced by reduced to suppose reduced by 50 megawatt okay so due to time lag in corner system okay comma the steam valve begins begins to close after begins to close after 0 0.4 second full stop so determine the change in frequency delta f that occurs in this time in this time so take h inertia constant is equal to 5 kilowatt second per kva okay so what is given we are saying we have a 100 mva generator which is operating at full load okay on full load is it is operating at a frequency of 50 hertz means on full load it will operate at uh, on full load okay uh, its frequency will be 50 hertz okay so then uh, they, then uh, it is given that we are reducing the load by 50 megawatt okay so because of the reduction in the load what will happen the kinetic energy of the rotor will increase okay obviously the frequency will increase so what we have to do we have to mean somehow reduce the speed of the uh, uh, now this uh, uh, speed of rotation of the rotor so which is obtained by reducing the steam flow okay so but uh, for the governor action to act some time is taken so depending upon the time constants or constant of the governor so it is saying that due to the time lag in governor system okay because of a time constant the steam well begins to op to close after 0 0.4 second means the moment we are decreasing the load by 50 megawatt after that time okay after after a span of 0 0.4 second okay the moment we close uh, we reduce the load from that time to a time equal uh, equal to 0 0.4 second after that the steam well will close okay so it is uh, uh, the question is uh, uh, it is asked it is uh, uh, we have been told to determine the change in frequency that occurs at this time this time means at the end of the 0 0.4 second okay and take inertia constant is equal to 5 kilowatt second per kV. okay solution not a problem you know when load will in dec load will decrease the kinetic energy will increase so we know that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the square of the speed or square of the frequency so we know these two points okay firstly let us calculate kinetic energy with the help of this inertia constant okay so what is h so by definition h is nothing but kinetic energy stored okay in mega joule at synchronous speed divided by rating of machine in mva okay but the unit for k it is given kilowatt second per kva so uh, remember uh, one kilojoule per second is equal to 1 kilowatt 
सो वन किलो जूल विल बी इक्वल टू वन किलो वाट सेकेंड ओके सो इफ इट इज गिवन इन एच इज गिवन इन किलो वाट सेकेंड वी कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू किलो जूल ओके सो एच इज इक्वल टू आई एम सिंग इट इज फाइव किलो वाट सेकेंड पर के वी ए सो किलो वाट सेकेंड आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट बाई रिप्लेस बाई किलो जूल सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव किलो जूल पर के वी ए ओके बट दिस द एक्चुअल यूनिट्स फॉर एच ऐसा यूनिट्स फॉर एच इट इज मेगा जूल पर एम वी ए सो इफ आई विल कन्वर्ट इट किलो जूल इंटू मेगा जूल इट विल बी टेन रेज वॉर माइनस थ्री एंड इफ आई विल कन्वर्ट दिस के वी ए इंटू एम वी ए इन द डिनोमिनेटर अगेन इट इज टेन रेज वॉर माइनस थ्री सो टेन रेज वॉर माइनस थ्री एंड माइनस थ्री विल कैंसिल इच इधर सो आई विल गेट एच इज इक्वल टू फाइव मेगा जूल पर एम वी ए ओके दैट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम सो यू नो दैट काइनेटिक एनर्जी फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशन यू कैन से काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट एच मल्टीप्लाई बाई रेटिंग ऑफ मशीन एच मल्टीप्लाई बाई रेटिंग ऑफ मशीन सो इनिशियल वेन द सिस्टम वॉज ऑन फुल लोड सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी वॉज इक्वल टू एच इज नथिंग फाइव वट इज द रेटिंग हंड्रेड सो इट इज नथिंग बट फाइव हंड्रेड मेगा जूल ओके सो नो वी नो दैट वेन पॉवर इज रड्यूस्ड बाई लोड इज रड्यूस बाई फिफ्टी मेगा वॉट एट दैट टाइम ओके फॉर सम टाइम फॉर जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेकेंड For zero point four second, some excess power will be available, okay? Because the Gorner action will take at least uh, will take zero point four second to for the steam valve to close so that the steam so that the speed can get uh, so that the speed reduces. So we are saying that for zero point four second, how much excess power is available? Fifty megawatt of excess power is available, okay? So I will write excess power available. Excess power available. Excess power available before the steam valve before the steam valve begins to close is fifty megawatt. Okay, no, this is power, and for how much time this power is available? Fifty megawatt excess of this power is available. It is available for zero point four second. So how much excess energy is available? Okay, or I can say excess energy input to the rotating part. Okay, for zero point five second, it will be what? Simply energy is equal to power into time. So I will write excess energy available. Excess energy available or excess energy input to rotor. input to rotating part for 0.4 second will be equal to excess power multiplied by 0.4 second so it will be 50 excess power was how much 50 multiplied by 0.4 so it is equal to 5 uh, 054 the 20 it is equal to 20 mega joule okay the unit for uh, energy is mega joules okay so i am saying for 0.4 second this is the excess energy that is input that uh, that is uh, going to the rotor or and this excess energy is increasing the speed of the rotor this is excess energy so what will be the total energy total energy for uh, this 0.4 second uh, suppose i am representing it by kinetic energy okay at the end of 0.4 second total kinetic energy available so it will be excess plus what was initially initially it was 500 no excess is 20 so it is 520 mega joule okay so kinetic energy under normal condition not means normal condition it was 500 mega joule and we know that kinetic energy is proportional to speed square of the speed okay or i can say square of the speed speed or frequency is proportional to kinetic energy so i can write that uh, uh, for uh, this uh, 0.4 second the uh, the increase uh, no, uh, this now uh, the increase in frequency it is uh, or, or frequency is f 0.4 divided by f not whole square is equal to this is the frequency at the end of 0.4 second this is frequency under normal condition is equal to kinetic energy at the end of 0.4 second divided by 
kinetic energy under normal conditions. So from this I can get F frequency at the end of 0 0.4 second is equal to F naught multiplied by kinetic energy at the end of 0 0.4 second divided by kinetic energy under normal condition square root. So it will be F naught is 50 multiplied by 520 divided by 500 1 by 2. So if you will solve it you will get uh, 500 divided by 500 divided by 520 divided by 500 uh, it is 1.04 so it's a root linge it is 1.019 multiplied by 50 so it is 50.99 which is equal to 51 hertz okay so we are saying if for uh, at the end of the 0 0.4 seconds the frequency will increase from 50 hertz to 51 hertz so, so what will be the frequency deviation Frequency deviation will be nothing that frequency at the end of 0 0.4 second minus nominal frequency it is 51 minus 50 is equal to 1 hertz. So 1 hertz frequency will change even in this smaller amount of time 0 0.4 seconds. Okay. So this was first problem. Now let us focus on the second problem. So let me get my rough page because I have solved this problem many times. Okay. Okay. No. no the second problem is like this uh, problem two okay so we are given two generators generators of suppose i am taking the first one is uh, let let me take uh, means uh, generators of equal rating okay should i take equal or unequal so first i will take equal then i will take unequal okay of 400 megawatt each okay are operating operating in parallel okay assuming that the no assuming that the generators are operating at 50 hertz assuming assuming Generators are operating at 50 hertz at no load. Okay. So next is how how would how would a load of I will say 600 megawatt be distributed be shared shared by by the two generators okay if number one if group characteristics characteristics of their corner their corners is Four percent. In the first case, I am taking the group is same for, and in the second case, group characteristics for means uh, R one for generator one it is four percent, and for generator two it is five percent. So in both the cases, I will determine how the load will be shared by both the generators. Okay. So we are assuming that both the generators are operating in parallel. So means uh, they are operating at the same frequency. Okay, at steady load. Okay. So. Uh, first case I am supposing let generator 1 take x megawatt of load okay so how much load will take generator 2 then I will say generator 2 will take how much total is 600 first is taking x the second will take 600 minus x megawatt got it <coughs> is it clear okay so I will say percentage drop in frequency in uh, I will, I'm taking this first case now when both the go have this group characteristic 4% I am saying no uh, percentage droop in frequency percentage droop in frequency okay for generator 1 is how much 4% okay 
सो परसेंट देर फॉर परसेंटेज ड्रूप परसेंटेज ड्रॉप इज नॉट ड्रूप इज परसेंटेज परसेंटेज ड्रॉप इन स्पीड ऑफ जनरेटर वन विल बी हाउ मच फोर डिवाइडेड और व्हाट इज द रेटिंग ऑफ द जनरेटर वन इट इज फोर परसेंट ओके आई एम सिंग इट इज टेकिंग एक्स मेगावाट ऑफ लोड ओके सो फोर इंटू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर हंड्रेड वट इट वट आई एम डूइंग हियर आई एम सेंग कि अगर ये जनरेटर जो है वो उस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविएशन या स्पीड डिविएशन मुझे निकालना है आई एम सेंग इट इज फोर परसेंट सो इट विल बी पॉइंट जीरो फोर और फोर परसेंट ये परसेंटेज में ले रहा हूँ सो आई विल नॉट मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड इट विल बी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई द नो लो फोर डिवाइडेड बाई द रेटिंग ऑफ द मशीन ओके मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द लोड हो मच लोड दिस मशीन इज टेकिंग ओके सो सिमिलरली परसेंटेज ड्रॉप इन स्पीड इन जनरेटर टू विल बी हाउ मच इट विल बी इट विल बी फोर इन टू हाउ मच लोड इट इज टेकिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर हंड्रेड बिकॉज दिस इज द फोर हंड्रेड मीन्स दिस रेटिंग ऑफ द जनरेटर got it so but percentage drop in frequency of both the generators it should be equal because they are connected in parallel so frequency division should be same in both the cases so i am saying this should be equal to this so if i will equate that uh, 4x divided by 400 is equal to 4 into 600 minus x divided by 400 400 400 will cancel so this is 4x so if you will multiply you will get 4, uh, 2400 minus 4x you will take that 4x on this side you will get 8x is equal to 2400 so x will be equal to 300 x will be equal to 300 megawatt so if generator 1 is taking 300 megawatt how much will generator 2 take it will take total minus the load that is taken by 1 so it will be 600 minus 300 is equal to 300 megawatt so you saw here one thing okay i am saying if if the droop characteristics of both the governors are same is same okay at that time both the generator will take equal load provided their rating is same okay okay i am saying both the generators will if the droop characteristics of the two governors are same then both the generators will take the same load okay will take the same load provided their they are of equal rating okay now so in the second case what we will do we are saying no r1 is 4% and r2 is 5% how the equation will change no let us see here so i am saying no percentage drop in speed in speed in generator 1 it will be 4x by 100 so percentage drop in speed in generator 2 it will be no its drop is 5% okay it will be 5 into the load taken by this unit is 600 minus x divide this is divided by 400 no since two are connected in parallel so they will uh, they must uh, uh, their na their uh, percentage drop in frequency should be same in both the generators so i will say this e equation is equal to this equation so i will write 4x by 400 is equal to 5 into 600 minus x by 400 400 will cancel so this is 400 plus 500 9 4 plus 5 9x is equal to 3000 so x will be equal to 3000 by 9 Thousand by nine, it is three thirty three point three three megawatt. So unit one will take three thirty three megawatt, and unit two will take six uh, will take six hundred minus x. So it will be six hundred minus three thirty three point three three. It is two sixty six point six seven megawatt. Okay. So now I am saying unit one is taking three hundred three thirty three. Unit two is taking no six sixty six. Why? You look here. I am saying. The droop this unit is called droop. How much? Four percent, and the droop of the second unit is five percent. So obviously, the system with the lower droop it will take more load. Okay, the system with the lower regulation it will take more load. Okay. Now in the third case, uh, let us assume that one unit is three hundred. First unit is three. Uh, two unit. First unit is three hundred megawatt. And second unit is four hundred megawatt, and take R one and R two different. Okay, so in that case, 
when first unit is uh, 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 means, uh, uh, operating at 300 megawatt and the second is operating at 400 megawatt so at that time if you will see what will be the equation first is operating at 300 megawatt so its droop is if its droop is 4% it will be 4 into x divided by 300 and the droop of the second will be uh, 5 into uh, 600 minus x divided by 400 so now you will see this equation will change slightly so it will be uh, 16x is equal to 15 multiplied by 600 mul 15 multiplied by 600 9000 minus 5x 15x so 16 plus 15 will be equal to 31 x is equal to 9000 so 9000 divided by 31 so x is now 290.32 megawatt and the load shared by the second is 600 minus 290.32 megawatt so uh, it is load shared by the second unit is 309.68 megawatt so this is third case when both the generators are of different capacities okay and their percentage regulation is again different so at that time you will get different result got it so these are the uh, two basic uh, problems which i discussed today so there are still uh, more uh, numerical problems which uh, uh, we have to solve but i think this is enough for lecture number 19 so in the next class we will discuss the integral controller and the uh, this uh, uh, integral controller and we will solve few problems on that too okay thank you very much